What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 video. Today I have one very simple goal. What is that goal? Well, ever since Reshiram got second and also like eighth and probably like 14th, it did really well at the most recent, at the, at the most recent tournament. Um, I have been reconsidering my thoughts as a hater of particular restricted Pokemon that I think are just bad. Reshiram was on that list, Lugia is definitely on that list, and we're going to try to break that today. Uh, and I think the last one that was on that list was Mewtwo and Giratina, uh, and I already fixed Mewtwo, so we're going to do uh, Lugia today. So yeah, uh, today's goal is to build a halfway decent Lugia team, and this one actually comes, like the idea comes courtesy of a buddy of mine named Weedle Twin Needle on YouTube, you might have heard of them, uh, but they actually just recommended recommended to me that I should try out Mist. Mist on Lugia. And the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Uh, if you just click Mist, all of a sudden you don't have to worry about anything like Snarl, you don't have to worry about Intimidate, and that's kind of huge for Zacian, so we're going to be checking that out today. If you guys enjoy, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day. Which restricted Pokemon do you need to break your hater streak for i don't know which one do you need to like just stop hating on because <laughs> for me it's probably lugia i always say like oh wow i'm a lugia player the da -da, weakness policy i'm gonna self-activate it and i lose uh like i always thought that was just so predictable but uh funny enough we might end up using weakness policy uh because i genuinely think that that might be the best course of action because at the very least we're gonna get utility out of this lugia beyond the weakness policy with mist so that's what i'm thinking Aeroblast is uh, also very nice, and I, I don't know if I want to run Max Mindstorm. Obviously, like, we have to run Earth Power. I think Earth Power is the most obvious thing we have to put on this guy, uh, just to make sure we don't lose to freaking, um, what's it called? Just to make sure we don't lose to uh, uh, Zacian immediately, because at, at plus one speed, we can speed creep for opposing Zacian. Uh, but yeah, let me make sure I'm on the right format. Yep. If I'm in VGC 2022, why are you auto-leveling to 100? You should be at 50. Thank you. Uh, but I do have a spread that I'm just going to steal immediately. As you all know, I use bulky Zacian like on every team ever. I think it's optimal. I think it's smart. I think it's a very good set. So we're going to do that. 92 speed is all you need with inanimate nature. Also, tonight I'm going to try to live stream again. I haven't been able to live stream because I've been sick. Uh, and I just I didn't want to put the the stress in my voice, but I'm feeling a lot better. So tonight, be sure to check me out on Twitch at 5.30 p.m. CST. We'll be streaming, uh, and I'll be using the Mewtwo team on ladder and trying to get the Master Ball. But yeah, because I haven't played enough this season. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking maybe we don't run Protect. We run Aeroblast, Earth Power, and I'm actually kind of feeling the Ancient Power. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to run a Timid Nature, and I am going to Speed Creep for base 100s. You know what that means. We don't want to lose to Charizard. Uh, Charizard's a very fast, powerful Pokemon. Did it place in top 32, or did it place in top 16, or even top you know 20 in the most recent tournament? No. Uh, is it still a huge threat in the ladder? Yes. People just weren't bringing it to that tournament because they didn't want to like get hard countered by everyone who's afraid of it. So we're going to hit 168 speed here. That's all we really need from that thing. We ought to be base 100s now. Um, I think I want to get a Grim Snarl on here. Grim Snarl's absolutely busted in my opinion, uh, and that's always going to be a very good option, especially for a Lugia team. So I think Weakness Policy, Multi-Scale, Mist, Aeroblast, Earth Power, Ancient Power is actually pretty good. Mist turns into Max Guard when we Dynamax, uh, so that's kind of cool. And um, I'm thinking a Thundee on this team isn't half bad. Thunderous actually is going to be kind of clean the more I think about it. Uh, we have that help for Zacian, uh, but Lugia is also, you know, going to be hit super affected by rock type attacks so maybe that won't be the best uh reggie lucky's kind of scary here i'm thinking a lando wouldn't be a bad idea either so we're going to go with double genie oh we have kind of a big ice weakness the more i look at kiram the more scary it gets uh i think incineroar is probably going to be better for that reason now that i think about it uh so we're going to be running these two uh as for my last pokemon grass is sort of essential i almost want to try out a Moongus. Uh, but do I want to try to move this? Obviously, we're going to be, this is like a team building video. So for all we know, like we might not even stick with what we got here. Uh, I, I think Amoongus isn't a terrible option. Yeah, I mean, like we need some defensive backbone. It's also pretty decent versus Calyrex Ice. 
uh, which is something that we're not going to like too much on this team. We have one switch into it, and it hardly counts. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and steal some sets here. I, If you don't know, the way that I play the game, I, I breed all my Pokemon. I don't, I don't like try to impose that on other people, though. I breed all my Pokemon, so I like very much like to reuse previous sets, not only because I think that... Um, not only because I think that it makes it easier on my end as a content creator to get these teams out for you guys, but also because like if you know how to play a particular set on your team, you don't have to like memorize new calcs for every single team you make. And I think that's just super useful. And uh, while a lot of people may like to completely remake teams, um, you know, maybe some of them will, like don't want to completely remake a team. Like, I don't know. Like I, I like to I like to be familiar with all my sets, uh, but yeah. Uh, yesterday I was making a joke, like, with one of my buddies. I got on ladder without, um, an intrepid sword of my Zashian. That's why this exists. But I thought it'd be funny. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let me think. So, what do I have? I have the Incineroar with the safety goggles. I usually only, like, reuse sets that I think are, like, super, super viable. Uh, so I think the only set we're truly going to be building today is going to be on the Lugia. Uh, because, honestly, like, Lugia is a Pokemon we have to calc a lot for. Like, it's going to be a very annoying thing to calc. Uh, obviously, this Amoongus set has been carrying us through our uh, Rhinia Sun matchups as well as our Calyrex Ice matchups because we do have that Focus Sash. Uh, we also have Seed Bomb to help out with Gastrodon. Uh, and I think we want an Assault Vest Thunderous, but I might actually not go with Assault Vest Thunderous. Like, yeah, we get Defiant, but I, I'm kind of feeling... Um, I'm kind of feeling maybe we'll go Regieleki instead now that I look at it. Do I want to go Regieleki? Uh... No, I don't think I do. Actually, maybe I do. Maybe I do. If I go Reggie Lucky, what do I get? Uh, actually, no, I don't have a way to self-proc this weakness policy if I don't, do I? I could have gone Raichu and like gone side bolts, which we could try that. Um, triple fake out. That could be interesting. Yeah, we'll do that. So triple fake out. We're going to go with uh, lightning rod. I want to go with fake out. Uh, Volt switch nuzzle and honestly rain dance wouldn't be half bad if i were running like a weather ball lugia that could actually get that, that could be kind of cool if i run a uh, weather ball lugia but i don't think i'm gonna run weather ball i don't think so also you know if i were to run mist that would also defeat the purpose of defiant thunderous the more i think about it we could try an assault vest right you but obviously sash would be preferable I could do something a little bit crazy and go with the set that I'm a big hater on. You know, as long as we're breaking our hater, our hater streak, let's do this. I'm going to run Fling and I'm going to give it that berry that does the thing that all the Lugia players love to use. Uh, what is it? What is the berry? Um, do I want the speed berry? I don't. I want the special attack berry, I think, because I'm already going to be clicking max airstream. There is a special attack. Yeah, raises holders attack. That's the lychee berry. Where's the special attack? Moringa. Um, what for rent? Orenberry. Just fling an orenberry. I'm going to miss it. Uh, da, 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 da. Speed by one stage. That's the Salic. There's a special attack one. I know there is. There's got to be, right? Special defense. Is it Salak Berry? Is that what people use? I could have sworn there was one for special attack. Someone's definitely in the comment section like, It's right there! It's right there! How are you missing it? Uh, I'm sorry. Alright, key is defense. Focus energy. Oh, I could do the focus energy one. I mean, we are running Aeroblast. That, that could be kind of funny. You know what? You know, I might do that one. I can't find the special attack one. It's probably just sitting there randomly on one of these, on one of these berries, and I just can't find it. Um, Starf? No, that's the random. I mean, I could do Starf. <laughs> you know what? Let's do Starf. It could be funny. Um, if, if I want to like the team, it has to have a little bit of the funny. Let's do Starf. That's going to be funny. Okay, yeah. Uh, where'd it go? Random stat by two. What's the activation for Raichu? Just at one fourth or less? Okay. So we want timid Raichu. This is gonna be so bad. Let me let me go on um Let me let me go on low ladder for this. We're not using my main. We're not using my main today. I'm too scared. 
Okay. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to lose all my rank on my main account just for this dumb meme. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be running this. I want to make sure I tank Lugia. Like, after a fake out, I would like it if I could tank a Behemoth Blade at, like, you know, at, at Zacian's neutral, which is plus one. So let's see what that would require. Uh, I would also like to be able to one-shot Zacian with a max Earth Power, so... Uh, let's get Zacian on here. Uh, earth Power at plus two. I mean, it doesn't require too much. Truth be told, that requires very little. It's a very low, <laughs> it's a very low uh, investment. So I can probably go more into bulk. Uh, let's take a look at Charizard. At like, if I'm gonna KO him, I'm probably not gonna KO it at neutral because they tend to run that one berry. Um, they tend to run Charty Berry. Charizard tends to be like Playboy Charty and just absolutely tank the rock move. Uh, so let's give it the Charty Berry. And I'm gonna give this Ancient Power. Max Rockfall. Wait, through Charty Berry? Oh, that's at plus two. Okay, so we're fine. Uh, Aeroblast on a Groudon. Just go with this set, why not? Uh, let's slap an Assault Vest on it, actually. It'd be cool if I could two-shot Groudon with Aeroblast. Okay, yeah. So obviously that's like non-Dynamaxed, but there we go. Now if it doesn't Dynamax, because a lot of Groudon will want to Dynamax the Charizard instead. Uh, now we're going to KO the non-Dynamaxed AV Groudon. So what was that spread? Uh, 52 special attack. And we're going to put a lot into bulk today. That's just that's just the name of the game for Lugia. You want bulk. Okay. Uh, Zacian, that's the thing I was looking at first. So Zacian, I need to take a Behemoth Blade pretty comfortably. Let's turn off multi-scale just so like if we face like a neutralizing gas Pokemon. Yeah, we're already fine. Uh, at minus one, can I get that to be a three shot? Is that a thing? I mean, technically, dude, am I just going to max out like my HP? I might just max out my HP. Let's do this. Check this out. Ready? Uh, yeah, that that is a super cool EV spread. This thing has 154 special defense. How much do I take from Kyogre? How much do I take from Kyogre? Okay, so Water Spout without multi scale, and I'm I'm not Dynamaxed. Uh, does like 70 percent with multi scale up. Let's put multi scale up. It, it gets cut in half. So, uh, multi scale. Where'd you go? There it is. Like less than 40. So I basically, you know. That's kind of gross. Okay, uh, I think we've, I think we've built a fine enough Lugia team. Uh, let's see what we can do. Not taking this terribly seriously. I just want to, I want to see what I can do with Lugia today. Like I, I don't know. I, after after Reshiram did all that in the most recent regional, I'm like I gotta try out Lugia. And you know what? I changed my mind. Let's go to my mid ladder account. We're not doing that. Uh, what was it? Uh, Silky Baritone. Silky Baritone should be mid ladder. It might be high ladder. Uh, yeah, it's 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 high enough. It's 13. 1327. We'll get some decent opponents. Okay, cool. So we're facing Sun. <laughs> I just like immediately like find a game and it's like no legendaries, no restricteds. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know what? Nah, I gotta. We're not doing this again. Uh, so this isn't looking too great. Uh, obviously there is. There's a Regieleki, there is a Eveltal, and uh, Lugia doesn't quite like that. Lugia actually really much hates that, very much, very much so. Um, how winnable is this if I just lead off Lugia Grimmsnarl and throw Caution to the wind in that way? Probably not terribly winnable, but I'm going to bring the Raichu in the back and the Zacian, and we're just going to hope for the best, why not? Okay, they lead off with uh, Groudon Incineroar, which I'm perfectly fine with. I should be able to do this. I'm going to go for the Fake Out into you. And do I want a Dynamax yet? I don't know if I want a Dynamax yet. Maybe I'll just toss off an Ancient Power for Giggles. Give me the boost. 
No? Okay. What a shame. What what a shame. Let me get my reflect off uh, and we'll go for the max airstream into the Groudon since it's obviously not AV. We want that damage. All right, cool. We get a critical hit. That's kind of huge. We're going to get parting shotted, I'm very sure. Rock slide. Oh, he missed me. I would have loved that. Come on, man. I would have loved that rock slide to hit. Okay. Um, honestly, I feel comfortable going into Raichu right now. It might be a little bit risky, but I'm going to go into Raichu right now because uh, rock slide won't KO me. I'm going to get this damage off and I should be able to go for fling next turn. There's the parting shot. What are you going to catch? All right, dude, this Eveltal is not going to take this Max Rockfall very well. Believe me. Believe me, I'm an Eveltal uh, Whisperer. Yeah, Eveltal Whisperer, that's what I am. Uh, you're, oh, wait, that might be an issue. Screw it. Whatever, let's do it. Uh, I don't need a Max Airstream anymore. Let's go for the Max Quake to KO. Will that KO? Honestly, I don't really care. I just, I just, I need the Special Defense boost. All right. Because Eveltal is going to come out at some point. Let me go for this fling. Minus 1%. And it sharply raised my attack stat. So that kind of sucked. Defense would have been cool. Truth be told, defense would have been kind of cool there. Um, Let me nuzzle you. And at this point, I've kind of given up on the Groudon doing anything. Or I've kind of given up on Lugia doing anything this game. Let's just Aeroblast. Yeah. Yeah. And if I survive, okay, well, listen here, Buster, listen here. I didn't appreciate that. I didn't appreciate that. Okay, uh, he's kind of, he kind of has to ally switch here, I think. I'm just going to, just going to call it whatever. Even if he doesn't, like, I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care. He ally switched on me. The game's over. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. He max guards. He's going to go for trick room then. I'm surprised he didn't trick room earlier, to be honest. Yeah, that's a lost game. That's fine. The funny did not work out game one. The funny simply did not work out game one. GLHF. Uh, let me see if I can pull off the funny here. Honestly, if there's a game where I can do it, it's probably going to be here. Yeah, I, I really don't see why it wouldn't work out in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off this way. Um, do I want to lead off Raichu or do I want to lead off Grimmsnarl? I think I want to lead off Grimmsnarl. Screen seems so much more important here. Uh, I'll bring the Zacian and the Incineroar. Okay. Um, more likely than not, they're just going to go ahead and go for Bulldoze. Which. Thank you. I hate Lugia. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, more likely than not, they're just going to go ahead and bulldoze and go for a, uh, what's it called? Go for a max rock fall on me. Uh, I should be able to eat the hit just fine if I do this. Because we do have that multi-scale. We have everything we need. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm cool with that. They go for the Astro Barrage. Are they going to trick room on me? Not sure if I agree with that. Sunsteel Strike. Okay. I just barely live that. That's kind of fine with me. Let's go ahead and uh, Max Quake you. You may not survive. I'll get my light screen off. Because I'm, I'm going to give him his weakness policy anyways. I'm just going to bulldoze. Here. Or I'm going to Max Quake here because I want damage ASAP. I'm very certain this doesn't KO, by the way. Like, Lugia has... Even though I didn't invest too much, I'm pretty sure even if I maxed out my investment... Oh, it did KO. We learn something new every day, don't you guys? I didn't think that would even come close. I really didn't. Huh. Okay. Uh, I You know, Lugia's, Lugia's starting to pick up, uh, in in my opinions. You know, I think, I think maybe he's, he's all right now. All right, there's the Raichu. Um, honestly, I think I just win if I airstream you. 
And yeah, I mean, he's got no defensive switch-ins. Everything dies. Yeah, I mean, let's just do this. I'll just play rough. Because I outspeed him on Nuzzle. <clears throat> and also, um, if he protects, he just goes down. I've got a special defense boost and everything. Do I don't even need to, you know, I'll just I'll just quake. Quake catches literally everything, and it's probably just better. Why did I behemoth blade? There we go. Now I get a special defense boost, so. See that one shots. He's not sash, so I'm wondering where the sash is. It's probably the Calyrex. Uh so what is the item on the Mewtwo? Or not the Mewtwo, on the on the Entei. Engine power. Alright. GG. Let me see if I get this boost. It'd be really cool if I got this boost. I've been like on an ancient power kick lately. Like I just like ancient power. Bam. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, let me, I, I really want this ancient power boost. Please give me the ancient power boost. It's just funny. I, you know, I was gonna, like, give, like, a minor critique of this guy's team and be like, it seems a little bit too focused on activating a weakness policy, and then it, and then it hit me. And then it hit me that we're doing exactly what he's doing. So, I'm not, I'm not really in a position to critique that. Okay, so, here we're facing the newly famous Calyrex and, uh, Reshiram. Uh, as far as my game plan for beating it, um... I honestly think, possibly, perhaps in fact, I can just go Grimstar or Lugia again, bring me Incineroar in the back, and a Zacian, or do I want a Moongus? I think I want a Moongus. Do I? I don't know. If he gets, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to just stop Trick Room outright, but I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to. Okay. So, I mean, I think I can stop Trick Room. Let me just airstream you. I think that he thinks that I can't stop Trick Room, but what he doesn't know is I totally can. Alright, that didn't do nearly as much as I needed it to. Um, <laughs> Do I double? Do I double? Which does more? Uh, I, I mean, I can Spirit Break it now. I think I have to spear break. Dang it. Okay. All right. So max rock fall. That's 110 times two. That is 220. Max airstream is 130 times 1 1.5, which is 195. So this does more. Right? Right? Yeah, this does more. Let me think. Okay. I think I go for reflect in that case. No, I'm going to double. I'm too scared. I'm a scaredy cat. Give me this. Oh my god, why did it take nothing? Why is he getting weakness policy? Why is this not No! Not like this. Not like this. Come on. Glacial Lance? I- Oh my god. When I said not like this, I really did mean not like this, guys. <laughs> why did that do less? How much did it do? Is my math just completely off? Max Rockfall, 34%. Max Airstream, 31 It just- it just does negligibly higher amounts. I could have gone. I could have gone for the reflect, and airstream. That would have been so much better. Crits. Okay, good game. Good game. <laughs> I could have just. Oh my god. Like that was. That was sad. I. I'm really overestimating Lugia's power here, aren't I? It, it gives me one game where it's like, yeah, you know, maybe Lugia's not that bad, and then all of a sudden this happens. Um, this team seems kind of scary. It's been a minute since I've seen Comfey and Stack Attack next to each other, or Stack Attack in general. Um, but I don't think I hate this. Okay, yeah, uh, that's fine by me. Let's go ahead and get the Raichu in. And I might just go for an Ancient Power, to be honest, on the Comfey. Let's see if I can get a boost. Let's see if I can get a boost. Actually, no, I should I should Ancient Power you in case you're Sash. I'm not really in any 
super scary position here. There's the Electroweb. Give me my boost. Give me my boost. Oh, this might KO? No, because he's just terribly weak. Because it's disgustingly weak. All right, uh, let me Airstream you. Hopefully it'll KO. Let me fake out the Aleki. Disgustingly weak, in fact. Oh my god. Trick Room goes up. Uh, I mean, I'm still slower. I, mean, I can just Quake you. Volt switch on you? Uh, maybe I do the opposite. I think I Quake you and I Volt switch on you. Get a nice little special defense boost. And I'm going to get the Grim Snarl in and it is screens time. All right, uh, what's the likelihood it's weakness policy Veltal? I don't know, but we're gonna max Rockfall and I'm gonna do a Reflect off. Actually, it's probably not running Foul Play, but if it is, I'm in trouble. I think I'll get a light screen off. Tank it, oh, that does like nothing. Max Rockfall, don't be... Okay, that did like half-ish. Oh, he's policy. That's great. That's great, guys. He's policy. Who would have thought? Okay, uh, I mean, Raichu's still good. He hasn't airstreamed yet. Oh, this is going to be so close. Uh, I have to go for my move. Eveltal is going to be the one to KO Lugia, if anything. And I should still be slower than him. So let's go for the Ancient Power... Actually, is Aeroblast stronger? Aeroblast is stronger. And the Spirit Break. Nice little drop there. Oh, wait, no, he is slower. I wasn't paying attention. All right, Grimstar should live this. And we're actually in a pretty good spot. How much did my previous Spirit Break do? It did 27%. I can go into Zacian pretty safely. I'm a very slow Zacian. I Spirit Break here. I don't know if he has Protect, but he definitely can't do anything in the face of the Grim Snarl. There's one turn left of this, and then I outspeed you next turn, so it's like, whatever. He max guards, he goes for a Protect. Honestly, still fine, I think. Uh, I just Behemoth Blade you, and... Yeah, I, I just always Behemoth Blade this thing. Let me go for a Reflect, because it's not like Grim Snarl is going to do anything anyways. He Sucker Punches me, ow. Don't crit me. Okay, we're good. We win. Behemoth Blade, fake out, GG. Yep, nice. All right, let's do one more. I want to do one more. I feel like I, I definitely haven't clicked Mist yet, and I still don't think Lugia is any better than when I started because it failed to KO a Comfey. Granted, you know, maybe I didn't invest enough, but it's 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 a max air stream at plus two. Shouldn't have to invest that much. All right, I don't know what this is. This is scary. Um, let me think. They very likely want to lead off Gothitelle and prevent me from doing anything defensively versus Kyogre. If I go Lugia on lead, I'm kind of safe. Um, I think Lugia Grimstar is still my safest lead here. Probably want Amoongus, they don't have much for that, and I think my last Pokemon's gonna be Zacian. Okay, yeah. Wait, 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 this is actually fine. Um, They're probably just gonna fake tears me and try to KO me, and I'm not gonna let them. Haha, -ha, you silly goose, you've lost your Rimzakad, and now you lose. Go ahead and still spike the Grim Snarl. his job's done. His job's literally done. All right, let me get the Amoongus in. This guy's going to be so fearful in a second here. Uh, he's also Life Orb, so Quake is very, very good versus him. He's going to start fearing for his life in a second. He's thinking. He's thinking. I would assume he goes Kyogre here because he wants to break multi-scale and then try to KO me, but I'm faster than him, so I can just Quake the Dialga regardless. 
Oh, it's the duck. Uh, now I'm slightly concerned, to be honest, because I don't want to get hypnosis. I know that this thing gets hypnosis because I've used that before, and it's gross, and it's disgusting, and no one should ever do that. So let me rage powder away what might be a hypnosis or possibly a yawn, uh, and then we'll deal with this. So I get the quake off, get a nice little special defense boost. He goes for a quake, gets his special defense boost. He's simple beam. Okay, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let me go for the max quake onto you and another rage powder. Oh, look at that. Amoongus, enjoy your plus two special defense. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, that's kind of interesting. I mean, simple beam gold duck could be kind of cool. Uh, actually, actually, wait, let me know if you guys are interested in this video. Ready for this? Look at that. Let's try that. Let's try that out next video. But yeah, let me know. Well, let me know what you guys think about this little experiment here. I'm still a big Lugia hater. I thought this experiment would help me break that, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know. It just it's such an underwhelming Pokemon. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.